Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to add people to your Canvas Sandbox and also how to submit a link to your Sandbox as part of the assignments for the Canvas Essentials course. First though, we need to find out the uh, email addresses or, or Atlas IDs of your facilitators so that we can know who do we need to add to your Canvas Sandbox space. So go to your Canvas Essentials course and click on meet your facilitators or another way to do it is you can click on people to see all the people in your course and actually I'm gonna not do that here though so I don't show the names of everyone in our course so I'm gonna click on meet your facilitators and you can see the email addresses or IDs of your facilitators so copy those or write them down uh, you mainly need the ID before the at symbol for f facilitators then go back to your dashboard and go into the Canvas Sandbox space that you're working on. So I'm going to go into the Sandbox 1, for example, and I'm going to click on People, and then click Plus People, and then uh, here you can either enter the full email address or just their Atlas login ID. Let me try the login ID and enter an Atlas ID. You want to change your facilitator's role to a designer or a teacher so that they can actually see uh, everything in your course. Uh, a student, as you know, has restrictions on what they can see. And then, uh, let me move this up some. Uh, click the next, I'm sorry, this is cut off at the bottom. I click the next button uh, at, at the bottom. There we go, now it's not cut off. I'm gonna click on that. And it validates that you have a correct Atlas ID and then click add users. And now uh, that person is added to my sandbox space uh, as a designer uh, in this case. So now how do I submit this uh, Canvas Sandbox to the first assignment? You can click home to go to the home page of your course and get this URL at the top here. Just select the URL and copy it, control C, then go back to our course, uh, the Canvas Essentials course. And I'm going to switch to student view so you can see it from your point of view and how to submit to the first assignment. Uh, just for your information, there is a student view button here too on the front page of any course space. Uh, so now I'm in student view. Uh, I'm in our Canvas Essentials course. I can go click on assignments. And uh, here are the uh, assignments uh, that, that say assignment. That's where you're, uh, every time you want to submit a link to your Canvas sandbox space where you're working on your course. So I'll click on this first assignment and you see the instructions. Hopefully you've already made all the changes in your Canvas Sandbox area that you need to do. Uh, I'm going to click Submit Assignment and it jumps me down to this area where it says Website URL. This is where I want to click and paste uh, Control V or you can right click and paste the link to my Canvas Sandbox. You can write any comments here if you like, like uh, uh, any questions you have or, or notes or stuff you still are working on in your Canvas Sandbox and then click Submit Assignment. Do that. And then it will show on the top right, yes, your submission has been turned in. There's a green confirmation here too. And that uh, tells you that yes, you have turned in the assignment now. And let me show you now what it looks like uh, when it's been graded. Okay, I switched back to Teacher View and graded the submission. And now I'm back in Student View and I'm back in the home of the Canvas Essentials course. And I see there's a little icon here next to grades that says there's one item that's been graded. I'll click on grades and there it is, module one, three out of three. I can click on some of these uh, icons to see, for example, overall comments or click this icon on the far right to see the rubric that's used for this assignment. I see I get one out of one for the different criteria for this assignment. And you can see your overall grade and so on on the grade area. Remember, if you have any questions at all at any time, uh, please contact your facilitators or post in the help form.